Hey, welcome back, folks. My name's Rowan, and we're playing Dragon Age 2. <clears throat> so, we're gonna actually start tackling DLC now. We're in Act 3. We're pretty far into Act 3. Uh, far enough that we're starting to run out of quests, and I'm not sure... I don't think we're gonna reach the point of no return quite yet, but we're getting close. So, we're gonna go ahead and start doing uh, the DLC. I think we're gonna do Mark of the Assassin first. Echo Hane. I think we're going to do that one first, and then we'll do Memento. Make sure we're good to go. We're all filled up. I think we're ready. So we have to have Varric. That's odd. wonder why we have to have Varric for this. That's okay. You've been wasting my time, Varric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. What's left to say? The Arashok was killed and a champion crowned. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Huh. Nicely non-specific. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush, an invitation, a hunting party. All because of Talis. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Reliable at leading us into an ambush, you mean? Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there is the champion of Kirkwall. You die. Today. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> well, that was a pretty cool introduction. Let's see here. Bros, I forgot it. Let's <laughs> go. 
<laughs> Let's not do that again. Well, injuries already. Sloppy. You think the crows would be better at this? They've been doing it for ages. Were these crows a gift from you? That's generous. Oh, I didn't arrange this, but it's no coincidence I'm here. My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the man who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, that's what Edge was on about. You remember? Duke Prosper, the one who fawned all over you at the Champion of Kirkwall Banquet. He talked about a hunt. I doubt I'd go to such a thing. I was hoping you'd reconsider. The Duke is a delightful host. Or so I hear. Let me guess. This isn't just a social call. I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. You want us to be thieves? Well, stealing from more lesions is never wrong. Or so I've been told. <laughs> There's always a catch. Nobody ever helps us unless there's a catch. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with... less blood. What makes you think I steal things just because people ask me to? Uh... I may have talked you off a bit. Uh, maybe more than once. Wonderful. <laughs> what? It's not like I'm exaggerating... much. All I've heard is that you get things done. I'm hoping that's true. I suppose there's no harm in hearing you out. Looks like they were right about you. Uh, by they, I assume you mean me? Evidently. So, tell me. What exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is. Just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. I don't like the sound of this hawk. You think it's a trap, or you don't want to steal from a nobleman? I don't think we should be breaking laws for someone we just met. Should I stand farther away? Maybe plug my ears? Please. There's like this tiny little spot where you have to be to loot it. Renzo, someone has to clean up what's left of Edge. The squirrely little dwarf made a mess when we questioned him. But we got what we needed. Hawk will be in High Town Market tonight. Be sure to deliver the Caveral family's best regards. Hmm. Who's the Caveral family? We'll head out when you're ready, and I'll explain on the way. All right. Well. Oh man, <laughs> we're low on injury kits already. But luckily, we can actually use these elf root potions to get rid of injuries if we absolutely need to. So. Alright, ooh, okay. So we're gonna have to have Talus. We'll have our tank and our healer, I guess. Talus is a rogue, so we'll have to outfit her somehow. The jewel we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The heart is in a vault behind who knows what kind of traps. Protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers. All inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by monsters. Great. And dressed as tears, Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay a wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. 
Good luck to you all. Lovely day for a hunt, don't you agree? Very outdoorsy. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. These are honored guests. Please excuse Cahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chasing? Here? Ah, oh, yes. You are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of these people. They traded in Lothering sometimes. My family never had a problem with them. See that, Cahir? Now you have someone to speak to. It's so very chatty, let me tell you. <laughs> and who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. And I see you brought assistance, already armed and armored. Wonderful. I must say, your presence is a surprise. When we spoke at the banquet, you seemed uninterested when I mentioned our hunt. It's a favorite pastime of mine to find things and kill them, actually. <laughs> so I hear. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? I don't think I've ever encountered a wyvern before. And why would you? There are exceptional beasts, magnificent cousins to the mighty dragon. My only advice, beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing about them, as well as the most valuable. Their poison is valuable. Indeed. From it can be brewed Aquae Lucidius, a libation adored even by the Empress herself. Drinking poison for sport. That really sums it up, doesn't it? Isn't it all but poison, though? wasting valuable time on questions. Do you wish the others to beat you to the prize? It will be an interesting diversion, I'm sure. Good luck to you, my lord. Remember, fortune favors the bold. All right, we're going to have to spec out Talos here. Let's see. She's got decently spread out attributes. All dexterity and cunning, of course, will power constant. So, they've given us, hmm, not sure about that one. Let's see what this is, Infiltrator. Silence Chance, Stealth Chance. Talus disappears into the shadows and immediately reappears, reappears next to her target, gagging the foe to prevent it from using spells or talents for a short time. Afterwards, she remains stealth. Okay. Drop dead. Kills weak enemies outright, while survivors suffer a massive critical hit. 351 physical damage, 100% crit chance. Extra damage versus brittle targets. 200% versus spellcasters and fade creatures. And stun chance, 100% stun versus spellcasters and fade creatures. So basically mages. And we've got Cloak, drawing on rare and unexplained training. Talus envelops herself in a sheath that protects against magical attacks. She's like an anti-magic rogue, it seems. She gets magic resistance while cloaked. And while cloaked, she now automatically strikes back against enemies who attack her with magic. Hmm. She gets a dodge chance, 20%. Very good. And nothing knocks Talus off her game. Slow resistance and stun resistance. Resistance, 100% resistance is slow and stun. That's pretty interesting. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much the same. I wonder if it wouldn't be better to spec her as a, an archer. But we have enough of those. Let's do uh
Let's do melee. Why not? Okay, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go ahead and pause this and finish this out, and then I'll just uh, show you after. All right, so I've got speed, as usual. I've got evade, which will have a stun. I've got stealth, being used as a pro uh, protective type thing. I've got talents that augment her stealth, so that way she uh, can take an extra action while in stealth. Um, that kind of thing. Uh, she has the bu uh, cloak, which, if I remember correctly, actually, I don't have to remember. Drawing on a rare and unexplained training, Talus envelops herself in a sheath of magic that protect or sheath that protects against magical attacks. So she's got a hundred percent for ten seconds, a hundred uh, with a twenty second cooldown. By the way, hundred percent magic resistance. Very good. I've also got Drop Dead, which is basically kind of an assassinate that does even higher damage uh, if they are magic and uh, magic type enemies, fey type enemies, and also even more if they're brutal, which I can't really take advantage of in this situation. And of course, backstab any enemy target of Aveline. Then she'll attack aggressively uh, pretty much everything else. So, yep, that's basically it. Well, I guess we might as well check out the store. Make sure you are properly armed before you set out. <laughs> A basic longbow. We can probably give her... Yeah, we can have her dual wield some daggers from uh from here. I'm glad we still have these. We're definitely gonna have to outfit her though. Nothing else. All right, let's check out her gear. Oh, yeah. She needs gear, for sure. Let's give her... Oh, okay. Well, at least she's got stuff that improves with, with, with level up. Bane and Catherine. Let's hope that those uh, actually get decent. Don't tell fate. Make sure you are properly armed before you set out. I wish you luck on your hunt, Mr. Hall. You have come a long way to join our duke, sirrah. You'll pardon me for saying that you do not seem like a hunter. A word of caution, since you are new to this. Wyvern spit venom. Their victims suffer terrible pain before they die. Death is always the result, then. Depending on exposure, it may take days. But yes, death is always the outcome if the poison isn't treated. Since people hunt these creatures successfully, I imagine there's a trick to learn. Ah, there are many tricks. It is best not to face the beasts head on. Flank them. Blind them if you can. Slow, agonizing death. This sounds less and less like a fun outing in the woods. 
But the venom can be treated, though it is not simple to do so. A distillation of herbs, equal parts, Drake Vein, and Draste's mantle, and Winterberry can counteract the poison. May the Maker's luck grace your hunt. Be safe, Sarah. Guess we should get those ingredients. Like they added to the graphics a little bit for this uh, expansion. I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm gonna go grab a drink. One moment. All right, let's do this. So these are the hunting grounds. What are we supposed to do? Beat the bushes with sticks? We just need to look for signs and be careful. We get this over with. We get into the keep. And that's where the jewel is? That's where the jewel is. Okay, so much for the graphical improvements. I'll take it. We could probably, uh... Huh. Let's do the poisons. Let's give Talus one of the good poisons. She gets fell poison. Let's do that. We can actually add injury kit. We'll add mighty offense. Life ward over here at the beginning. L fruit and restoration poison. Combustion grenade. That should be it. Ah, right. Mythal's uh, favor as well. Yeah, basically the same thing. Actually, we're going to give her... He'll use Arcane po Poison. She can use Pro Venom. Yeah, there we go.
Voila. That wasn't the target. Do dragons and wyverns even mix? I don't think so. So if we drop part of this in the right spot, we might lure a wyvern out to protect its territory? Good thought. Do that. So this is what life could have been if father hadn't been exiled. I think I'm all right with what I've got. And who I've got. You'd look grand next to the Delonces. All quaffed and buttressed. Make her. <laughs> Aveline, my bulbous cherub, you must hear the droning of Lord full of shit. Stop <laughs> it, you. <laughs> that was funny. Very old and creepy. I wouldn't touch it. Why not? I get, I'm definitely touching it now. Oh boy. What the hell? Am I? We were joking, right? Good lord. Jeez. All right, well, throw me a freaking res. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. This is embarrassing. Oh, instant deaths, bro. <laughs> oh, sick, 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 six. This ain't gonna work out too well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, DLC is supposed to be hard. It's very old and creepy. I wouldn't touch it. All right. I think everybody's pretty much prepared. Let's try it again.
Jeez. Why are you running into the... Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. That's like a one shot. That is crazy. All right. We'll get it this time. I think I know what to do this time. Basically, whenever they're casting, run away. Whenever that thing is casting, at least. All right. Let's try it again. go oh boy I told All right, so we're going to have our melee guys attacking the cultist and me. Poor dog. Dog's going to die so quick, bro. All right, there we go. Good start, good start.
There we go. It's exactly how we're supposed to do this. Now we attack the cultist. About a heal. I need help here. I need help here. I need help here. Got him. Nice. Boom. Hell yeah. That is how we do it, guys. See, it's much better when it's hard. Some uh, new gear for Talus. Attack and stamina slash mana. Those are basically the same thing there. Poor dog died. Real quick. A lot of blood. Would that be prey? Or from a wyvern itself? I've heard they fight for dominance. Can't be gentle. Maybe we can use some to draw out rivals. Added to what we have already, is it enough to draw one out of hiding? I'd say so. A little one. Probably all we need. In the right spot, no doubt. This music is actually the same music as from Leliana's song. Have you seen a pair of Corsairs? I've been calling and calling, but it is no use. Nicodemus should know better. But Sylvain never had an ounce of sense in his head. Slow down and tell me what happened. My hounds have disappeared. They took off after a stag, and the Maker only knows where they've gotten to now. Please, you must help me find them. If I see your dogs, I'll let you know. May Andraste guide you. Silva, dinner time. Ah, oh, we just came from this way. Waste of time. Just ignore them. I 
I think this is from a Samir bird. The Tevinters hunt them. The feathers are supposed to have magical properties. What do we have here? Is that... Wyvern's mating? Could we mimic that? No. Oh, the sound. <laughs> right. I can try that. Uh, that was funny. Could we mimic that? I wonder if you actually can romance Talus. There is something in there. A nest, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's sick. Look at that. She's like tearing these things apart, man. Oh, she died, though. <laughs> that's too bad. They were out gathering hunters. Got some levels.
Let's give her... Let's give her a thing that makes her attack Avalyn's target. You know what we could do? We'll say enemy target. Yeah, enemy, enemy targeting Anders, we can attack. And then enemy target of Avalyn attack. That way she's only... Let me see. Enemy attacking Anders. Usability backstab. That way, if Anders is being targeted, she will attack that person. Not gonna lie, these ghasts are actually a pretty unique... Uh, Enemy. I don't remember seeing him anywhere else, not even in Inquisition. So cold. The hell? Oh, blessed Andraste, thank you. I thought I'd die out here. I've been trapped here since last night. I know I'm going to regret this, but why are you standing out here in your small clothes? Ghasts were chasing me. I thought I could leave false trails. The truth told, I'm not looking for the women. I'm a scholar from Cumberland, researching an Avar cult that once lived here. They worship the Lady of the Skies to the exclusion of all other gods. I'm searching for their shrine. I think I've been to your shrine. There were nothing but angry spirits at the site. Nothing else? Pity. I had hoped. Ah, oh, well. The rumors say they were driven from their last refuge. They left a great treasure in the goddess's keeping. <sighs> but the mountain has defeated me. Please, take my research and see if you can do anything with it. I will try to make it back to camp. Good luck to you, Sarah. Cool. We finished a quest without even doing the quest. Oh, maybe we can actually do that. We didn't finish the quest. We're going to go back and do it then. Uh. Excuse me. They would be better to hunt these closer to farmland. There must be a plague on anyone with livestock. The sooner we get the hunt over with, the sooner we'll be at the chateau to finish this. <laughs> Watch us have to fight those guys again. That's all right. I know what they do now, like what the what to do for the enemies. Their little tricks. Man, the graphics of the areas around here are just kind of Dragon Age Origins-esque. <laughs> they could have done a lot better. I mean, the trees look nice. That must be the altar that weird old guy mentioned. Yeah. There we go. Attacks ignore enemy armor. 5% chance to regenerate 3% health. They do spear damage.
Too bad she can't wear any of that, huh? Yeah, none of it. That is pretty cool, though, that she can throw her daggers. They should have made that an option with uh, all of the rogues. Alright, let's give her her level. Just a moment, guys. Let's see. This is going to go badly for them. Never mind this plot. All right. Well, this is, uh, we're going to go ahead and call it here and then pick up the second half of this DLC on the next episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like the, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good night.